Hi guys, and welcome to Aveda's YouTube channel. My name is Chloe Brown, and I do hair and makeup tutorials here on YouTube. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys this very simple, straight, sleek haired look with just a pop of a curl in the front to add some dimension and character. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about all of the hair styling products that I used, and I'm gonna give you guys a few tips and tricks along the way. So without further ado, let's get right into the tutorial. So I took a shower this morning and right after I got out of the shower, I brushed my hair thoroughly, making sure that all the knots were taken out before I added any product into my hair. Right here, I am taking the Damage Remedy Daily Hair Repair. It is filled with quinoa proteins, which help strengthen your damaged hair. It is a leave-in treatment, a detangler, and also protects your hair up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. It is made with 98% naturally derived products. Here I'm taking the Smooth Infusion Style Prep Smoother. I love this stuff because it helps against humidity for up to 12 hours. It also is a heat protectant and it adds that shine to your hair that I absolutely love. I'm gonna take a couple spritz of the Volumizing Tonic and just add it to the roots of my hair before I blow dry. Now when I'm blow drying, I'm concentrating the heat at the roots and lifting up my roots to maximize the volume of that Volumizing Tonic. When my hair is almost fully dry, I like to switch it and turn it on to the cool setting. I am sealing the cuticle, making my hair shiny, but keeping the volume that I just added into my hair. I'm also gonna take my blow dryer and blow dry in the opposite direction as my part to add that volume that's gonna last. All right, now that my hair is prepped and ready for a flat iron, I'm gonna be using a one and a half inch flat iron today, and I'm gonna set it to 320 degrees. I think there's a huge misconception when it comes to flat ironing your hair. Just because a flat iron or a curling iron can go up to 450 degrees does not mean that you should style your hair at 450 degrees. We want to keep the integrity of our hair and do everything we can to prevent breakage. Now for the bottom sections of my hair, I'm gonna be straightening, kind of adding a bend into my neck. As I move up to my temples, I'm taking my flat iron, I'm putting it at an angle, and I'm just lightly adding a twist to have that really nice wave to it. It seems pretty odd right here that I'm just adding one curl, but it'll make sense when the hairstyle is finished. So I'm gonna continue straightening the rest of my hair all over. And then as I'm coming up to the last final sections of hair, I'm going to take the two sections in the front right here and just add that same bend. Putting my flat iron at an angle, making sure that I am twisting as I'm going down, letting them cool to room temperature. Then flat ironing the rest of my hair. The last and final section of my hair, I'm gonna actually be adding three curls to the top of that parted section, just so that everything has that nice bend and wave in it and really comes together for that sleek look. Now that I'm done flat ironing my hair, I'm gonna take a pretty sturdy comb. I'm gonna spray the Air Control Light Hold Hairspray in my hair and tease at the root all the way around my head. I like to manipulate my hair after I tease, just making sure that the tease is still in there, but there's like a smooth finish to the look. Now I'm gonna take the Split End Repair by the Damage Remedy line, just a tiny, tiny dot on my fingertips, rub it in. This is gonna add that separation and protection on your split ends so that it prevents future split ends from being created. To finish off, I'm gonna take the Air Control Light Hold Hairspray again, lifting them at the roots and just adding that finished polish. All right, and here it is, the final look. I just love this look because it is super sleek and easy to do, but it has that fun little twist in the front that adds a lot of character and dimension in your hair. If you guys are interested in purchasing any of the products that I use today, the link to Aveda's website will be down below in the description box. Before you go, make sure to subscribe to Aveda's YouTube channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. All right, thank you guys so much for watching.